Good day, it's Tony Fortune out from the technology firm. Today I'm going to spend a few seconds looking at an Android utility uh, that you can use for free for some wireless assessments or tr troubleshooting um, on your wireless network. So something unrelated, how am I doing these screen captures? I'm using this My Phone Explorer uh, application that runs on my computer and it also runs uh, a client on the actual phone. That allows me to do things like sync the phone, uh, and even remotely control the, form, the phone, which is what I'm doing right now, and I can do it over Wi-Fi or USB. So this is my actual Android right here. So that's my phone. So I'm going to click on Wi-Fi Analyzer, and there it is. It starts up. And in this case, I can see two SSIDs, two 4 gigahertz, two 4 gigahertz, and I can see this access point's coming in at about 75, and this guy's coming in at about 50. So for the people who don't uh, remember the DBM signal strength notation here on the side. I want to spend just a second explaining that. Uh, 100 is quiet and 0 is loud. There. That's pretty well it. So for example, this guy is louder than this guy. So the next thing I want to show you is uh, just a few things that you can do with this uh, utility to make your life easier. First thing I'm going to do is go over to my little wrench. And if I go all the way to the bottom, I'm just going to scroll up here and there we go. So the first thing is we can actually hide that ad, which is kind of neat. So for example, now it's not going to show the ad. Whoops, clicked it twice there. And that's not going to show the ad until uh, the 3rd of August. So now I think that's kind of nice for the author to do that, because most cases you have to buy the pro version to do that. And now if I just go back one screen, you'll see that the ad is gone. Cool. Second thing is uh, you can actually change the behavior of the tool and have it enable your Wi-Fi for you automatically. So sometimes you turn off your Wi-Fi because you have to at work or because you're just trying to save some juice on your battery. So right down here we've got, let me just get down here and I'll show you, there we go, auto Wi-Fi on, see that? So obviously it'll turn Wi-Fi automatically um, on when you start the utility and same thing you can turn it off when you exit the software. So there's a few other settings in here but those two are kind of the cool ones I wanted to point out. As well I want to show you the views, the various views. So I'm going to hit the eyeball and this is called the channel graph view so I can see my channels. If I use the time graph view it takes um, these signals over time and it shows you if they're consistent or stable. And this is really important because if you're walking around you can see if the signal's dropping when you go around a corner uh, or is it fairly consistent. The other thing we can do instead of a time graph is we can go to the AP list. And the AP list gives me a list of the access point and the actual DBM so I don't have to guess if it's 50, 55, in this case it's 52 and obviously the channel. This is also configured with WPA2. Lastly, we can look at the signal meter. Signal meter is kind of neat. It just shows me uh, the signal strength. If I tap here to select it will bring up a list of my access points and I can pick the one that I want to monitor. So now it's kind of like a Geiger counter. Now I can walk around and see how well I can hear it and it's just displaying this slightly differently uh, than the other screen. But in most cases my favorite screen is the AP list. There you go. And this really does break things down. You can also set this up to uh, not group uh, the APs because right now if I have more than one AP it would have grouped it and I can click that guy to break them out or I could go into my configuration settings and say don't do that. Uh, so now I can see my access points and my signal strength and document or troubleshoot my network. So there you go. Hope that helps. Bye for now.